Hello my dear friends, today I'm sitting here in the laboratory and I would like to tell you about the story about entomology. Actually that's a subject what I'm studying. And just recently I received different questions from people about entomology and entomologists. So people ask me what is entomology and who is entomologist. That's quite funny, really because I'm entomologist as well. Well, so that's a point for this story. Who is entomologist? An entomology. Entomology, this word, consists two parts. Ento and logos. So ento and logos, in Latin it means insects and logos study or science. So entomology, this is science about insects. An entomologist, people who is studying insects. At least entomologists, they can be professional or they can be amateurs. And professional entomologists, they are usually working in kind of scientific organization or in scientific institute or museum or university or college. And amateurs, they usually enjoy insects. They like to take photographs, so they like to observe them, they like to collect insects, so they enjoy insects even from their childhood till being adults. I know how do entomologists behave and what they are doing. Actually, entomologists they should study insects from different points of view and there are different branches of entomology. I might say that Entomology consists of several branches, very large, because you should be specialist on a particular part of entomology. For example, agricultural entomology, then veterinary entomology or medical entomology. Or, for example, you see, forensic entomology, very important. Or economical entomology, or some parts of entomology like systematics and taxonomy of insects or, for example, physiology of insects and behavior of insects. And, of course, you may say, what else? And, for example, study of behavior and biology of bees and bees production. That means beekeeping as well. That's also part of entomology. And I missed also forestry entomology and, I must say, about Urban entomology study of insects in urban community society in cities. And of course, why entomology is so important? Despite insects were very tiny, they're very small. If I take this one, you cannot recognize it on video because the size is half of millimeter. Entomologist should collect insects for their study. Insects might be studied under the microscope, like this one, Olympus, or this one, small one, stereo microscope. And of course, entomologists, they need to collect insects. Of course, insects, this is a very large order. Actually, approximately, we might say, about one million of species. Entomologists, they collect insects, they put them on pins and then put them in boxes. And all these boxes, many of them, they consist of entomological collection. Collection can be dry, collection can be even in special solution for fixative features. For example, insect can be stored in 96% of I don't know. For example, these insects were collected in American traps here in the city during this summer. So you can recognize they collected a bunch of glass jars during the summer and it's pretty heavy. Maybe hundreds or thousands of insects. And of course, entomologists who study taxonomy and systematics, they need to select their 
particular group of insects. For example, I need only Hymenoptera and tiniest calcid wasps. That's why I need to separate them. Sorry about it. And I put them from this big last jar to small jars like this small glasses. Each of these glasses contains small number of insects, but they were sorted and separated in these jars because I separate them. Maybe a different species, maybe different groups. And after that I needed to make special microscopic slides to study them under microscope. For that I'm doing entomological microscopic slides like this. It takes pretty long time because I need to dissect insect, even small insect, half of a millimeter I dissected on several parts. I put it on this glass in Canada balsam. So this slide can be stored here for dozens of years. Even in some museums you can find the same slides of approximately 100 years old. Yes, they are stored in very good condition. Like for example in Oxford Museum or the Natural History Museum in London. This museum has very nice collection of entomological slides. And this collection I did myself. And after that I studied them under the microscope. I, I need to take photographs. And of course, after that, what should entomologists do? Should scientists do? You should do entomological papers, scientific papers. This is actually the purpose of the goal of scientists and scientific researchers to publish papers in scientific journals or in scientific books. More papers, more books, this is more your experience, more your skills, better knowledge of your group of studied insects. And of course here we should publish papers in different journals. For example this one journal, Ukrainian Entomological Journal, or for example this book with different pictures of small calcid wasps and other parasitic wasps. And of course some books they should contain identificational keys for these insects. Because you or another specialist or for example student should identify insects under the microscope at the laboratory in, in university. That's why, for example, this identificational key of insects from Far East of Russia is quite useful. Here we can find different pictures and descriptions and identification keys. So these are books and papers which are important for scientists. That's why we are collecting insects. Like here also, other way of collecting, it's possible to put them on some lawyers, like here, this cotton lawyers, insects are here, and store it carefully in some plastic boxes. So, the publication, that's the purpose, the goal, and why scientists publish papers, because they need to find something. They need to find something new. And what can they find? They can find new peculiarities of biology, new peculiarities of taxonomy or systematics. People, scientists, they can find new species of insects and describe them in journals. And of course, even now in 23rd century, not easy but possible to find new species of insects. Because approximately, if you say, one million of species of insects in the whole world, still there are a lot of new species in some unstudied areas, even in European part of 
the world in Europe or in Asia or in Australia or in New Zealand or just Africa or in tropical regions you can find new species of insects and for that of course entomologists collect them store them in collection and after that they publish papers in scientific journals that's a brief story about entomology about their goals purposes how they do how they study what do they collect and how they study them briefly under the microscope and see you soon in next videos I'll tell you more stories about entomology and about insects. See you soon. Good luck.